All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakurash, the one that's elders and apostles of great meals and that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, I can that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. <clears throat> Today, I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it Israel Only. All right, man. That's the only nation on, on this planet Earth, man, that the Lord cares about, man. All right. Only Israel, man. All right. No other nation is going to get salvation, man. All right. Other nation, no other nation has a wisdom, man. All right, a, 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 a guidance, man. All right, this is only to the Israelites, man. All right, period, man. So any further ado, I'm going to jump to it. This is 2 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. It says, And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right, man, so there is a chosen, man. All right, and we all come from Adam, man. All right, but hey, there is a chosen people, man. And that chosen people is Israel. It says, a hey, Lord said, a hey, Israel, mine elect, man. All right. That's what the Lord hey, elected to be his people. It says, verse 55, it says, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. All right, man. Our sakes, man. All right. Not for the, not for everybody on this planet, man. All right. This world was created for us, man. Everyone else on all, all, all these other nations, man, are nothing but handmaids and servants, man. All right. They, they're nothing but hey, slaves, man. That's it. That's all, man. But hey, our people we want to put them on, put them uh, uh, on high, man. All right, put them on the same level as them, man. The Lord, and the Lord didn't didn't create us to be on the same level as these nations, man. Deuteronomy seven and six, man. We above every nation on this planet, man. So this is Isaiah chapter fourteen, and um, let's start at one. It says, "For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, man." All right, <laughs> the Lord is gonna have mercy on Jacob only. All right, hey, you read in Acts the fifth chapter, the thirty. The, no, I'm just grabbing it right quick, man. I'm gonna grab it, cause hey, man, hey, 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 salvation is only to Israel, man. Love is only to Israel, man. And love is a uh, fulfillment of the law, man. All right, hey, the laws that's the law such commandments was only given to the Israelites because the Lord only loves them, man. All right, He gave them a law. All right, to uh, um, He gave them a law to um, um, that's what I'm looking for to 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 better themselves, man. You know. A to some that that's gonna put them above everyone else, man. Some that's gonna make them connected to the to the Most High, man. You know. So this is Acts chapter five and one, thirty-one. It says, "Him hath Yahweh exalted in His right hand to be a prince and a savior, to and for uh, so like it says, and to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins." All right, man. It didn't say the whole world. All right. It didn't say every nation. It said Israel, man. All right. Hey, that's that's very clear, man. This is only to the Israelites, man. Salvation is only to the Israelites. The love is only to the Israelites. The law is only to the Israelites, man. All right. So I'm going to go back to this Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. It says, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall join, shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right. This is talking about those scattered Israelites, man. All right. Those those other Israelites, they those speckled birds, man. All right, cause they every every member of the elect is not gonna look, you know, like a dark skin, a dark skin black man, man. All right, or a Mexican man, they they're, they're gonna look like uh, another nation, man. They, they some of them gonna look like they're uh, Chinese, man. All right, some of them gonna look like so called white, you know. So a hey, verse two it says, and the people shall take them and bring them in their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of. Of Yahweh for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, who whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right, man. So hey, all these nations, man. All right, they had a part in our downfall, man. We're gonna rule over you again, man. All right, because hey, you are nothing but a hey, hey, servants and handmaids, man. All right, hey, we're gonna take you a uh, uh, captive, man. The same way we, the same way we're captives. All right, inside this land, man. We can't go back to our land, man. All right, we can't have shit inside this world, man. You're not going to have a damn thing, man. All right, you're going to be slaves under our foot, man. All right? This world, because this world was made for our sakes, man. This is all about the Israelites, man. We are the main characters, man. Everyone, everyone else are, are role players, man. That's it. Esau, Esau is just going to play that role to, 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 to uh, get us, a, a, to, to, to get us ultimately to, to the end of this, to the end of this story, man. You know? So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 6 and verse uh, 56. It says, as for the other people, 
which also come of Adam. So, hey, these are the other nations, all right, outside of the nation of Israel, man. All right. A hey, verse 54, hey, the Lord has a chosen, man. So these are other nations. Since thou hast said that they are nothing. All right. They are nothing, man. They don't mean anything, man. <laughs> all right. They don't mean a damn thing, man. So, hey, hey, why would the Lord have his only begotten son? All right. To lay on the cross to save all these nations, man, that the Lord doesn't care about, man. All right. Hey, the scripture said that Yahweh changes not, man. I'm going to grab that right quick. The Lord don't give a fuck about these other nations, man. And this is I, this is Malachi chapter three and six. It says, "For Yahweh, so like it says, for I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right, man. The Lord changes not, man. All right. The Lord is always gonna love the nation of Israel, man. All right. At the end of the day, man, the Lord is gonna ultimately save our entire nation, man, through the elect, man. All right. So hey, hey. The Lord is always gonna have that love for His nation, man. But hey, for the rest of these people, man, who the Lord doesn't know." All right, the Lord don't even know you nations, man. The Lord doesn't the Lord doesn't care about you, man. Your laws Hey, the Lord didn't give his laws and commandments to you, man. All right? Hey, you hey, you were you were hey, hey, you're just heathen, man. All right? The Lord only deals with Israel. This is Isaiah Salakia, like second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 56 it says, "As for the other as for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle." And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel, right, man? So all of them are nothing, man. All right? Spittle, man. All right? <laughs> and, man, if someone likens you to spit, man, all right? That's, hey, that's very degrading, man. That means that you totally means nothing to them, man. All right? This is what the Lord is saying for every other nation of people that's on this planet outside of his people, man, the nation of Israel, man. Think about that, man. All right? And that's something that these Christians can't wrap around their mind, man. All right? Because they're, they're so... uh soul on that love doctrine man all right the lord does not love everyone man all right it was never that way man this is some bullshit that esau has put aside the minds of these people man all right and i a the nation of israel all right who the lord loves say so they love to eat that shit up man they love to believe the ways of esau eat them man you know but hey hey j verse 57 it says and now O lord behold these heathen which have uh, which have ever been reputed as nothing have began to be lords over us and to devour us. All right, man. Hey, this is the reason why hey, we're, we're at the bottom. This is the reason why we're devoured by these other nations, man. All right, because we don't choose the ways of the Lord, man. All right, a hey, majority of times, man, our people want to serve uh, idols, man. They want to serve Esau, Edom, man. They want to serve this world, man. All right, the only people that serve Yahweh Shem Al Shai are the prophets, man. And guess what? The prophets are Israelites, man. All right, was going back to a hey, the Lord. Hey, only giving this word, only giving this wisdom, this knowledge, man. All right. The Lord is only showing his 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 secrets. All right. To the Israelites, man. All right. Not to all nations, man. All right. A hey, verse 58, it says, but we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy first, thy firstborn and thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. All right, man. The Lord only cares and loves for us, man. It says if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure, all right? And this is not going to endure much longer, man, all right? This kingdom is about to be translated into the hands of the Israelites, man, all right? Esau, Edom is the end of the world, all right? Jacob is the beginning of it that followed, man, as it says earlier in, in this chapter, man, you know? But hey, man, hey, 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 we're at the bottom, man, because we fucked up, man, all right? But the Lord is hey, the Lord is going to bring us back, man, showing that great mercy and great love that he has for us, man, which you other nations don't have a chance in. <laughs> so this is Romans chapter 9 and 13. It says, as it is written... Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, all right, man? The Lord only loves Jacob, man, all right? The Lord hates Esau, man, all right? Esau loves to put these uh, doctrines aside the minds of these people and tell them that hey, 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 he can make it, man, all right? The Lord loves him, man. That's not what the Lord said, man. The Lord said he hates Esau, you know, man, all right? The Lord said that he would have war with Amalek from generation to generation, man. The Lord doesn't care about a, a, a Edomite at all, man, all right? At all, man. All right. Hey, the Lord, man, Esau damn sure ain't, get, ain't got no chance, man. And hey, neither do neither do any of these other nations, man. All right. Only the Israelites, man. The so called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans. So this is Sirach chapter 17 and 17. It says, For the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. All right, man. Israel is the Lord's portion, man. All right. Israel. Is, is, is Yahweh Bashim al Shaz, man. All right. Hey, the Lord's name is connected to our name, man. All right. No other nation, man. All right. Hey, the precepts cannot be found in no other, no other nation, man. All right. But the nation of Israel, man. So this is verse 18. It says, 
whom, whom being his firstborn, his, he nourished it with discipline and giving him the light of his love doth not forsake him. All right, man. So, hey, the Lord loves us, man. All right. No other nation, man. It says, hey, hey, but to Israel, but Israel is the Lord's portion, man. All right. Your love is for us, man. No other nation is getting that from Yahweh Basham al Shah. And never will, man. That's why that's why the heathens flow in wealth, man. All right. They do all this sin, they do all this wickedness, man. All right. And hey, 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 Yahweh Basham al Shah allows them to build up all of their sins, man. Bring a heavy ass judgment down upon them, man. All right. He doesn't do that with us, man. All right. Hey, he, he gets us right away, man. All right. Because he loves us, man. It's the same way your son doing something off, man. All right. You get on his ass right away, but if it's someone else's son, man, you don't give a damn, man. You know, but this is Psalm chapter 147 and 19. It says he showed his word unto Jacob and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. All right. With any other nation, man, the Lord has not dealt so, man. It says, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Right, man. We praise the Lord all the day long for this, man. All right. Because hey, we get that mercy, man. We get that salvation, man. All right. Only us, man. All right, which a hey, 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 gives us a, a better chance, man. All right, making it uh, on those chariots, man. All right, it gives us a, a, a um, you know, a more more appreciative attitude, man, towards towards this wisdom and this knowledge, man. All right, because this is only for you Israelites, man. This is not for every nation, man. All right, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. All right, the ones who these curses fell upon, man. Deuteronomy the twenty-eighth chapter, man. It's evident that you are the Israelites, man. All right, hey, this ain't for everybody, man. Lord ain't shoes everybody. The Lord don't love everybody, man. That's a lie, man. This is Amos chapter 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that Yahweh have spoken unto you, uh, spoken against you, O children of Israel. All right, children of Israel, man. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. <laughs> of all the families of the earth, man. Only Yahweh Shemal Shah has known us. Says, therefore, I will punish you for for your iniquities. All right, man. That's why we get punished for our iniquities, man. That's why we get punished right away, man. Because the Lord loves and knows us, man. Uh, let me see if I can find this right quick. Uh, yeah, wisdom of Solomon twelve and twenty two. It says, therefore, whereas thou thou doest chasten chasten us. All right, hey, chasten it means to uh, you know, yeah, you you get you get in. Uh, punish, all right, for moral improvement, man. All right, this is to morally improve us, man. All right, when the Lord puts us through judgments, man. All right, puts us through captivities, man. This is for us to hey, hey, see that, hey, man, we need the Lord, man. All right, this is our power, man. This is the only way for us to be on top, man. All right, anything outside of that, hey, we're going to get our ass whooped, man. All right. But it says, thou chastened, thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more. All right, man, what the Lord puts upon our enemies, man, all right, is a thousand times more than what we go through, man. All right, hey, and all the bullshit that we go through, man, on the day on a day to day basis, man. All right, the Lord does our enemies a thousand times more, man. All right, just showing the the immense mercy and love that the Lord has for us, man. All right, this isn't given to every nation, man. It says to the intent that we that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy, right, man? Because hey, 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 you give mercy, man, you're gonna receive mercy, man. It tells you that in Matthew's the fifth chapter, man. All right, hey, hey, hey. as our Lord is holy, man, we're supposed to be holy, man. All right, but hey, this ain't for this ain't for all these nations, man. Every nation on this planet ain't ain't getting that salvation, they ain't getting that love from the, from the Lord, man. Hey, you other nations are going into slavery, man. That's the only thing that your ass is getting is a, is a chain around your neck. This is Second Ezra chapter five and twenty two. It says, "Am I yeah? Am I so recovered?" The spirit of understanding, and I began to to talk with the Most High again, and said, "O Lord, that bears rule of every wood of the earth, and of all trees thereof, Thou hast chosen thee one only vine, man. All right, one only vine, man. All right, hey, showing showing that Yahweh Shemal Shad doesn't doesn't just love everything, man. The Lord, the Lord is a just is a just power, man. The Lord said that a that a false um." Uh, balance is abomination unto him, man. All right, something that's not perfectly balanced, man, is an abomination unto you. How about Shemal Shah? So, hey, why would the Lord be out of, out of balance, man? All right, the Lord is not just all love, 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 love all the time, man. All right, the Lord has that hate, man. He has things that he loves, man, and he has things that he hates, man. All right, and the Lord hates all of these other nations, and he only loves one particular nation, and that particular nation so happens to be the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Spanish, and Native Americans. So, this is verse, um. 
24 it says, And of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit, and of all the flowers thereof one lily, and all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river, and, and of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. It says, And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove, and of all the cattle that are made, Thou has provided thee one sheep. All right, man. So, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord, and he has that one favorite, man. All right, of everything, man. All right, the Lord doesn't just, doesn't just love everything, man. All right? Hey, it's the same way you don't just love everything, man. All right, you have things that you hate. You have things that you love, man. You have things that you like to eat. You have things that you don't like to eat, man. You have things that you like to do. You have things that you don't like to do, man. It's the same way with your how about Shemal Shah, man. All right? And it so happens to be the same way with nations of people, man. The Lord doesn't deal with every nation of people, man. All right? And the Lord can do whatever he want to do, man. And this is verse 27. It says, And among all the multitudes of the people, all the multitudes, every nation, man. All right. The Lord has only known Israel, right? It says, Thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people thou lovest, thou givest a law, and uh, a law that is approved of all. All right, man. And hey, that law is, is, is these lost as commandments, man. Hey, Psalms 147 and 19, man. All right, the Lord has only given these laws, laws, statutes, and commandments unto the nation of Israel, man. He only showed his word to us, man. All right. And this is 2 Ezra chapter 3 and 31. It says, I do not remember how this way may be left. Are they then of Babylon better than they of Zion? Or is there any other people that know it thee besides Israel? All right, man. No other nation knows, uh, knows Yahweh Shemal Shah besides the nation of Israel, man. All right. And we just read in Amos the third chapter, man. It says, or what generation have so believed thy covenant as Jacob? All right. No other, no other nation has gotten this covenant but the nation of Israel, man. All right. Only the Israelites ha ha has has uh, took a hold on this on this covenant, on these laws, has commandments, man. It says, and yet thy reward appe uh, appeared not, and thy labor have no fruit. Um, for, for I have gone here and there through the heathen, and I see that they flow in wealth. And think not upon thy commandments, all right, man. These 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 heathens can't keep these laws and commandments, and they never will, man. It's not in them to do so, man. These heathens flowing wealth, man. Only thing they think about is carnal is carnal things, man. All right, the wicked do, do not think about you. How about Shmuel Shai, man? And this is um Psalms ten and four. It says the wicked through the pride of his countenance. Uh, yeah, through the pride of his countenance, we will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts, all right, man. The wicked do not think about Yahweh Shemal Shah, man. First and foremost, Esau Edom, man, all right, who is the border of wickedness, man. He damn sure ain't thinking about the Lord, man, all right. Only thing he's thinking about is, is, is how he can control these nations more, man, all right, how he can keep these nations doing more and more wickedness to, towards the Israelites, man, all right. He ain't thinking about the Lord, man, all right, and neither are any of these other nations, man, which is why the Lord doesn't deal with them, man, not, not one of them, man, all right. Hey, any, any man, woman, all right, that the Lord has ever dealt with, man. All right, we're Israelites, man. All right, the Lord ain't dealing with no other nation, man. All right. So this is the second Ezra chapter three. And um three and uh verse thirty-four it says, Wait thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and there is also that dwell the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel, right, man? The name of the Lord is only gonna be found in Israel. The name of the Lord is attached to the Israelites, man. All right. No other nation, man. It says, or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or what people have kept, or uh, like it says, or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, but not the heathen, all right, man? So hey, the heathen don't, don't think upon the lost as commandments of the Lord, man. It wasn't given unto them, man. They can't think upon the lost as commandments of Yahweh Shem because the Lord didn't put the spirit on them to do so, man. All right. Hey, if you're if you're uh, have any understanding of this word, man. All right. And hey, you can read these scriptures, man. Have understanding of it, man. All right. Hey, know that the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man. Guess what? You are an Israelite, man. All right. Because the Lord, hey, the Lord's spirit only deals with dwells dwells with the Israelites, man. Doesn't dwell with anyone else, man. This is Romans eight and sixteen. It says, "The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit." That we are the children of Yahweh, right, man? We are the children of Yahweh, by Shemal Shah, man. All right, and the spirit will show that, man. All right, it's going to show through your spirit, man. All right? Hey, it don't matter if you if you look like another nation, man. All right? Because, hey, we were scattered, man. James 1 and 1, we were scattered. All right? 
So, hey, man, hey, 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 it's, it's an Israelite in the spirit, man, you know? Hey, the Lord is only dealing with Israel, man. No other nation on this planet, man, you know? So, hey, I pray this lesson, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Kha'akurash, the one our elders and apostles of great meals, so that do it well, and salutations and blessings to you, Akim, that's pushing his word with true sincerity and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.